removed all the programs running on Leeds and my own ID. Command, save changes. Changes saved. Beginning propagation to external servers. Where are we off to now? Yeah, completely deleted. <laughs> Sent to the black, the darkness. So you're saying Asia City isn't real? No, no, no. It's real, all right. But all the adverts and tourist boards are total lie. It's being plundered by the council, <laughs> like a piñata at a kid's party. Hey, look who's waking up. Joey, check out my new threads. But how? This weird guy fixed me. Yeah, I went through your bag <laughs> while you were asleep. Found my old cleaver in there as well. Thank you. But never mind that. I was monitoring your progress while you were in there. Looks like you nailed both our data problems. So my ID should be cleared then? Your ID. My access to Minos. Result. I thought you said Link Space was empty. It had a major virus. The Helix virus? That's still going? Glad I didn't have to deal with that. Late! One second, Poppy. Hey, where's her Bilby? Shh. I got the Bilby away from her while you were in Link Space. <laughs> Managed to slip it into your purse without your noticing. Dump it in the incinerator when you leave. It's not a purse, it's a satchel. Yeah, so you've got the circuit board, that's Joey's uh, main control board, and you can put that into different robots. Um, we've had it in a couple already in this game. And you could do that, in, remember in the first game, you could transfer them into different robots. Yeah, it's not. Uh, there's something weird about the kid, isn't there? When I go, is Poppy going to be okay? After what you just did in Link Space? Absolutely. Anyway, I've had enough of this city. I've been planning my exit strategy for months. Just a few hours time, I'm heading out of this happy, happy cesspool of fake smiles, spankles and secrets. Late! And I'm taking Poppy with me. Get her back to her family in the gap. Take her out of the city? How? I think I figured out a way to slip a U-chip past the system. It's a little bit of genius. It's all about the kudos. You think it'll get her through the city gates? I'm still working on it. But if I'm right, which I always am, I'll get her anywhere. Late, late, late. <laughs> the face isn't kitty enough looking, is it? It's too adult looking. <laughs> Definitely a few screws loose there. What were you and Joey talking about as I was waking up? <laughs> Foster, you should hear this guy. He's a proper nut job. Says the droid with a god complex. <laughs> That's not a complex. I am a god. <laughs> anyway, ask him about some of his theories. They are wildly entertaining. And by entertaining, I of course mean fascinating and informative. Okay. Theory of evolution. What is all that about? Where's the controlled experiment, right? Duh. What was the orphan plobs? Any other conspiracy theories? The only way magenta can exist as a color is if rainbows are actually rain tubes. Think about it. Any other conspiracy theories? Tell him the one about the Minister of Aspiration. Well, I'm not saying conclusively that she's a reverse vampire, but duh, you only ever see her in public during the day. <laughs> a reverse vampire. <laughs> Any other conspiracy theories? Well, you know how everyone thinks the Earth is just a flat disk. Sure, day one of elementary school. Well, listen to this. Globe. Boom! That's insane. 
Okay. I've never seen that. So everybody here thinks the Earth is flat, but he he thinks it's a globe. <laughs> What's the story on that distillery out there? The moonshine still. Okay. That's Jimmy's. What's the moonshine made of? Out of date spankles. Sounds dangerous. You're not kidding. It's practically weapons grade. Boy, seeing all this old tech takes me back. <laughs> Still the best, isn't it? I mean, sure, reboots are fine, but they're never a patch on the original. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking with my guns. I'm saying it's a globe. <laughs> Surely there can't be much call for old robot parts. Listen, I don't judge you. Hey, I'm not judging. My pockets are stuffed full of crap. Next you'll be saying that the sun rotates around the earth. Did I hear you say Asio City? Don't get me started. When I found out about Asio City, that was the last straw. What happened? You've seen the land trains. They're coming directly from Asio City. Or what's left of it. What do you mean? We destroyed it. An entire metropolis converted to scrap, and the people forced into the gap. That's terrible. All while the people of Union City get fat off its remains, and the council call them our allies. As long as it's a custard donut, that's okay. So my ID is now clear? No blockers? No blockers. I hope you know what you're doing, by the way. Could Not a clue. His email's hidden for a reason. Of course, I can't patch his two-week absence. But you should be fine so long as you don't meet anyone from well-being. Does Mentor Alonzo count? Yep. So the, the, the center hole in the donut, that's where all the alien spacecraft come flying out of as well, isn't it? That's their wormhole entrance into our flat universe. Any other things <laughs> I should be worried about on my ID? Only that you're about a foot taller than the original Graham Grundy. By the way, how the hell did his ID end up in you anyway? That's deep core stuff. It was transferred into my U-chip by a hacker in the gap. Impressive. How long has this dude been a hacker? Not that long, I guess. She can't be more than 14. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks. Same to you. By the way, you never told me your name. Foster. Robert Foster. Drown. Joey Drown. <laughs> I don't expect I'll see the two of you again. Everything I'd learned from Leet made me wonder. Maybe all along, Graham was one of the good guys. At least now, with the data blocker removed from his ID, I'd be able to look deeper into his life. Hey, Foster, where are we dropping? Back to Graham's apartment for some good old-fashioned detective work. Lead the way. Graham's data was now unblocked. I hoped that would help me move forward. The alien civilization. 
You always, I always wonder if there was something that had come a long time ago. I could see a few errors in Leet's calculations, but I doubted he'd appreciate me telling him. You won't catch me dead in one of those things. Can we do anything else here? I think. No. Oh, what's over here? Let's see what Poppy's got to say. Poppy? Leet! 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 I've always been fascinated with uh, the pyramids and that. And how accurate they are. <laughs> how accurately built. Are you okay? Leet! 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 She was right. I was going to get more coherent answers out of Leet. Is Lee taking good care of you? Bilby! Yes, that's a Bilby, all right. Were you kidnapped from the Gap? Bilby! Yes, that's a Bilby, all right. Anything's possible, really, isn't it? So, until they actually completely disprove it. Bye, Poppy. Bye-bye! <laughs> it's a bed. Got visitors. Oh, got a microwave. What can we do with the microwave? It was some kind of old device for producing electromagnetic radiation. The real leet. <laughs> Looks like someone's been doing some arts and crafts. Leet? You're ruining my heartfelt goodbye. <laughs> That's awful. Right, let's leave him be. Oh, what's this? Scrapped robot. That looks kind of familiar. A scrapped robot that looked past its prime. Right, let's head back to our room. I guess we need to find our way to the transport thing. My um, grandmother on my dad's side was born in Egypt. They weren't Egyptian, but um, they were stationed out there. I only found that out a few years ago. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Yeah, um, it would have been a dual citizenship, I guess, in the end. But Welcome. so I always wonder if that's why I've had a fascination for Egypt. Go. We are going to Graham's home. Take me to my apartment. Certainly. It's not your apartment. Never actually been to Egypt. Always fancy going and seeing the pyramids. Was there not a a news article just in the last couple of weeks where supposedly America and Russia are in communication with aliens? But I mean, you never know. See, they wouldn't want to tell the public in general, would they? Because the public would just panic. Whereas people like me, <laughs> I'd be quite excited. <laughs> American Israel, that is I, yeah. Okay. Rural. 
Buggy. Wait. Yeah, Galactic Federation. It would be nice to think there was. And that... I mean, we can't possibly be the only race in the in the universe. She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. I just need to go for a quick bio break. I'll be right back. Back again. Made a coffee. Coffee at the same time. Yeah, so I looked it up while I was away. Um, yeah, some former director of space programs says they've been, it's been nearly 30 years they've been in contact with alien life forms representing a galactic federation, and President Trump knows about it. Humanity is not ready for the public disclosure of extraterrestrials who he claims currently are in talks with government agencies on our planet. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here. They don't want to they want to prevent mass hysteria. <laughs> It would, wouldn't it? Because a lot of people don't believe there's anything else in the in the galaxy, or it couldn't possibly be. <laughs> okay. I, I, I didn't read into it when I first saw it, so... Yeah. I'll have to look at that more. Interesting. Quite a big leap if um, if it's true. Right, Songbird. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. But you don't want to talk to us. Excuse me, please. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Bye. What's Chipworth going to say? Hello, Chipworth. Hello, Master Graham. Have a super day, Chipworth. Serving you, sir. Every day is super. Yeah, I think it would just be too much, wouldn't it? Um, so why are we back here? We need to find more information. Right, let's have a look at the computer. This is sort of why I, I read masses of sci-fi. I really like sci-fi. Because <laughs> um, I've always thought there had to be something out there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take the attention away, do you? <laughs> uh, where's the... it was four new messages. Introducing the new Wonder Map, a special something to enhance your cleaning robot's productivity. Help us keep the skies clear and beautiful. Beauty salons. Do not drop objects. Oops. Maybe they are called Culians. Quest does that stand for questionable aliens? Oh, it's such a pain that they're typing on their phone, isn't it? <laughs> 
sometimes the number of times you have to retype the same word over and over until it gets the word you actually want. <laughs> yeah, Culians. We've just invented a new word. <laughs> Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. Oh. I hoped it would help me figure out more about who this guy was. We've got this on video now, so it's definitely us, well, it's you that invented that word. We'll have to start spreading it about Kulians. Like whenever I see um, GGP used on um, online games, I always think, well, we invented that years ago when we used to play Meridian 59 online. A bunch of us used to use GGP for gotta go pee <laughs> for bio break. This is Blythe, 15 days ago. We used to use that all the time. Of course, it can mean the other thing as well. I've got to go poo as well. <laughs> the black rubber and spandex costume you ordered last week has arrived. This is Blythe and our Emporium. Wish you and your partner joyful evenings. Yeah, we thought so at the time. Perfect acronym. Hi Graham, I know that Songbird will be at the dinner party this evening. Are you free to meet at St. Mark's Bar tonight? Oh, who's Alice? Who the hell is Alice? Hey, Gramsie, not seen you around lately. Could do with my camera back and some film too if you got any. Songbird, don't know when I'll be back. Girls come around for film club at 8, so make it after then. Oh, what's this? You need to take the girl. Admin error leaked. Okay, so that's um, leaked messaging, Graham. Yeah, go to go party. <laughs> I'm hearing them again, Graham. Kids crying. They're everywhere. Anyway, I have closed the fridge and that seems to have made it all better. <laughs> Dave Eichel. <laughs> Uh, somebody for work, what's going on? Kudos level, are you back? Oh, he's got a lot of mail. Gotta go perform. <laughs> there is. <laughs> Gotta go penguins. <laughs> Nobody will really know what you're a way to do. It can be confirmed that your absence has not changed operational productivity, so basically you're you're not needed. <laughs> Here's David I call again. It's the fizz, Graham. They're putting it in the fizz. Just don't drink it, man. Turn your brain into a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, they will, won't they? God, they go play. GGP. But you're already playing. Why have you got to go play? 
Your industrial cleaning robot requires attention. Last match is sent. My battery is low and it's getting dark. Knock knock Graham. Movie night. A well being mentor has arranged to visit tomorrow. Make sure you're back. I don't want to be querying my kudos claims. Yeah, it is, isn't it? No, I don't want to play with you guys anymore. We've got an attachment. What's this? Whoever unknown author was had sent Graham an attachment for the hollow plinth. <laughs> You just have to drop GGP into every conversation. Because they just won't have a clue what you're on about, will they? Because we have made up a lot of meetings for it now. Here's Alice. Let me know when Songbird is out and I will bring over her aspiration party dress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one for Andrew. Got got a good program. Due to the un your unauthorized absence from work, you have been deducted kudos and your employee status reduced. Watch out for the revolution, man. They stole the circuit board of joy, the saviour today. They'll stop at nothing. That was me. Your newly adjusted and fitted work uniform has arrived. But how do we get this attachment? Not in there. It definitely said it had... Oh, might be in here. There was one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. <laughs> For your eyes only. Right, so if we now look at our... Come on, Joey, out the way. Oh, I like the noise Joey makes when he moves. Someone excuse me, please. <laughs> Salmon. Plinth was showing the toys tracking data. D4086, that's new. Is that here? Ah. Joey? What's up, Foster? I don't get it. We've searched this whole place, but I feel like we're still missing a key piece of information about Graham. Stop, are you? Yeah. I once heard that humans do some of their best thinking while sitting on the toilet. How is that helpful? How should I know? You're the human. <laughs> in four million years in the future when we invented portals. <laughs> Joey, I'm stumped. Where should we go next? To the pub. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? To the pub. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Any advice? Hey, I might be the smart one. Got to go. That doesn't mean I have all the answers. Got to go pub. Besides, you'll feel better if you work some things out for yourself. You don't have a clue, do you? Not the slightest. Thanks, Joey. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. So, 
do we need to find this place now? D four oh eight six. Cryptic email had an attachment. Well, I thought I just looked at that. So we definitely took off the attachment, didn't we? Special image. So it must be this then. City law. No, not that. Personal data. No, wrong one. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. One thing I was sure of. That's definitely that one. A bonsai tree. Okay. So it must be that. So we need to go there, don't we? There's the Billby plushie. Hey, Joey. What now, Foster? We need to find out more about Graham. Okay, how's this? He's super boring. That's not really giving me anything to go on. You know what else is super boring? This conversation. But... Next. We need to find out... Don't let me stop you searching the place. Any advice? Foster, I spent ten years in a glass coffin. What am I supposed to say? Avoid poison apples. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> Any advice? Eat, breathe, and poop. Oh, and make sure you get an oil change every now and then. Thanks, Joey. Right, he's not going to tell us anything. Okay, Foster. I wonder if we can't actually go sit on the toilet and think. Please, Foster, don't start doing anything organic in here, okay? There was a boot print. Curious. Yeah, we've already... Someone had stepped up onto the toilet seat. We've already done all that. Let's not make it worse. Right, I think we need to go find this place. Would you use anything here? Oh, use you damaged hollow lanes. I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. And what was the purpose of that? The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. See, I can put the proper one back on. Were we meant to do that? I swapped the lens back to the original one. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. That's okay. Let's talk to Songbird. Yeah, I'm probably only streaming for about another half hour because I need to go do my um, grocery, me, please? grocery shopping as usual. Um, I was thinking about doing some more. Another victim of our fleshy overlords. I was thinking about doing more of our, the Leisure Suit Lie once I get back for a couple hours. Where did she go? Why are you taking the tiles out of our house? 
Are you stealing the towels, Chipworth? Chipworth is stealing the towels and selling them on eBay. Excuse me, Songbird? Hello, husband. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Hmm. I thought we'd looked at that, but it's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. I'm presuming we've. Oh. What do you make of this? It's a lens for something. Probably for a projector of some kind. Fancy a mini K? Foster, even if I could eat, I wouldn't eat that. Joey? What's up, Foster? No, wrong option. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Can we use that? No. This is the thing that attacked my village. Oh, I see it. Small, sticky fingered little monsters always touching everything. <laughs> Not the kid, Joey, the stalker. You have your monsters, Foster. I have mine. So Joey doesn't like kids. Oh, if you do fall asleep, I hope you sleep well. I shall be back on tomorrow as usual with my ever-failing fortress. Can we show her anything? No, just come here. Give me a chance to let you see. I found this outside. I think Graham hid it. One of his silly photos, hmm? Not silly. It was a stalker. A what? Are those children? Yes, kidnapped from the Gap. Like Milo, the boy I'm looking for. I think Graham was involved somehow. <laughs> My Graham. You serious? Think so. Well, what do you know? Guess that's what got him killed. Looks like it. Silly fool. Always getting involved. Trying to right wrongs. Songbird's tone of voice appeared to soften just for a moment. You'd better keep it. No use to me. Sorry. <laughs> Look what I've got. How did you get one of those? Just gave someone a hand. Well, don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Come back. I'm still not finished. Can we... No! I wasn't finished. <laughs> Come back here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of this? Looks like some of Graham's trap. Yes, but what is it? I don't know and I don't care. Right, I don't... I'm presuming we've seen the attachment. Let's just go see if there's anywhere else we can go. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I don't know. Actually, I'd like to stay here. Of course, Citizen Graham. Why would... Why have we got this cogwheel still? I wonder what happens if we show her that. We didn't get to show her that, did we? Come back. 
I thought it was harsh. No, stay wait. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Give him here. What did Nasty Graham do to you? Just borrowed him, far as I can tell. Kid took good care of him. Kid? What kid? Little girl called Poppy. Runaway. Graham loaned her Bartleby so she wouldn't be scared. It was my engagement gift, you know. Lot of memories. The contempt Songbird had for Graham seemed to be fading. I'm sure he didn't mean to upset you. Anyway, leave me alone, will you? I have things I need to get on with. So, have we lost that now? Yeah. Damaged hollow lens. Cuts deliberately scored. I think we're going to put that one back in. Ahem. There, hum. I think it must show something else, wasn't it? If you put marks on the hollow lens, it's going to mark what it's projecting. Excuse me, please. Let's swap that out. <clears throat> Swap the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Uh, no, I don't want to examine that. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. That's not... is that our apartment? It almost looks like our apartment, doesn't it? There's nothing else we can use apart from that. I didn't think Songbird would appreciate me rummaging through her things. In Union City, even the teddy bears had screens. This one was broken. Yeah, we've already... Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? Uh, Billby's not on there. Carl Koala. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. In Union City, even the teddy bears had screens. This one was broken. Jasmine. Yeah. remember these things. You always wanted the whole set. Weren't there four of them? Where's Captain Bilby? He's the best one. There was an empty spot marked Bartleby Bilby. Yeah, we've done all that. Hmm. Yeah, hum. Excuse me, Songbird? What now? Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. Ahem. She likes saying that, doesn't she? Ahem. Special bonsai. Oh, 
what happens if you put it? One thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. And that changes what's on the platform. Well, normally does. It doesn't this time, is it? The HoloLens now projected fragmented data. There's nothing on there that's. Excuse me, please. I am confused. that on there. Can't look at that now. I wonder if we need to go to the museum again. And we had that was earlier on. We 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 could give the bird some of the sausages, which we still have, um, to get to a box that was taped outside the window. Nothing else we can use on here. That was, it was the mini K sausages. HoloLens now projected fragmented data. Is that pointing at something? Look. This is pointing at something here. Excuse me, please. Get out of my way. Chipworth. <laughs> Chipworth. Get out of the way. I remember to look at this when he keeps getting in the way. Now projected fragmented data. That's her bedroom. Right, there's diff it's on there, isn't it? It's where the cuddlies are. There's something there. It's in here. There's something here. Let's have a look at uh. We don't have the pet again. I keep putting the wrong key there. Dave Dingo. It's just pointing to where that is, isn't it? It was an empty spot marked Bartleby Bilby. But we gave her that back. Can I prize these off? Eating a stuffed koala wasn't going to get me any closer to finding Milo. <laughs> yeah, but it's worth trying. Blank. I was still just a grown man hitting a cuddly toy with a crowbar, wasting time I didn't have. Kevin Kangaroo. Can't do anything with an empty just a slot. Man hitting a cuddly toy with a crowbar, wasting time I didn't have. Can we use anything else here? No. And we can't use anything on that one. Hey, Joey. I hear you. Any advice? If you're ever locked in a glass case. Ask if they can put you by a window. Not much else, though. 
Useful as ever. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. I think she would give us it back. Wherever she's gone. She keeps running off. That is one big puddle. Ahem. Excuse me, Songbird? What now? Yeah, I think Thanks. But she's not yeah. gonna give us a bark. Bye. Cryptic email had an attachment. I wondered what it was, but we've put that on, as far as we can tell, onto the hologram. I'm tempted to hit the reveal hint. <laughs> so we just seem to be going around in a circle here. I wonder if Leet knows anything about it. Let's go check Leet out. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Can we go there, can we? Like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. Travel waiver. Oh, accepted. you're right. Are you sure you want me to transport you to the industrial level? Yes, yes, I'm sure. No one has ever asked me to take them up there before. Mind how you go, Citizen Graham. Yeah, I think you were right, Plobs. This is probably just a little wasted trip. He's maybe not left yet, though. He was in this first bit, so it's not too far... No, he wasn't. He was away over here, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, jerky. Something's just not triggered, has it? Oh no, he's still here. Why is he not wanting to talk to us? Keep hitting escape to get away from. I want leap there. Talk. <laughs> what is it? Nah. Maybe if, maybe if we show him the hollow lens. Uh, no, I don't want the hand clamp. <laughs> Sometimes to to get no Joey's in the way now. Can I show him this hollow lens? No. Oh, look, I've got an aspiration brooch. I wouldn't go waving that sort of thing around up here. 
It'll get you nothing but a black eye and a toothless grin. <laughs> Wait, so he doesn't... He's not going to... Can we put something in the microwave? No. Like a tin. <laughs> Blow it up. I don't know. Yeah, I really need to buy a break. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. Um, right. Oh, one of the kittens is on the go. Let's head back, because we definitely need to be in that um, apartment. Going by the journal. Uh, no. <laughs> Up this way. What's this? Um, we've got this ha the hacking tool, haven't we? I keep forgetting I've got that. I wonder if we can hack anything in the apartment. a long way back. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Uh, Graham's home. Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Right, let's head on back up. Here she comes again, songbird. So most pointers onto my second screen. Right there we go. I'm just wondering if there's anything hackable in here then. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we hacked the plinth before. How do we do that again? There. So why c we can swap that and that. Can't swap any of that. What happens if we swap this out? When the earth's that. Where's the toy tracker? It was through here, wasn't it? In Union City, even the teddy bears had screens. This one was broken. So if we talk to it. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. I thought we'd done this, though, previously. So... Excuse me, please? Yeah, because we had... We'd done that, so this is it back to... This is it back to the proper hollow plinth now, isn't it? So the hollow plinth is now showing what it should do because we had that swapped over. That's why it was showing the map of the the apartment. Right, so we need to. The 
HoloLens now projected fragmented data. We need to put the other lens back in. So that it doesn't show us a fragmented image. There. I swapped the lens back to the original one. Oh, and we didn't put it onto the right... We'd left it on the wrong bonsai tree, didn't we? I think. Yeah, we did. Right, let's put it onto the... There was one thing that one. I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. Okay, hopefully we've got this the right way around now. Out of the way, Joey. What's that? Oh. The HoloLens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Right, we still need to swap out the lens. I thought we'd done that. <laughs> Getting confused, right. Oh no, that's the damaged one. Uh -huh. I swapped the oh. lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be <gasps> there. The Gala. Oh. That's tonight. And I need to be there. Solved it. Finally. Yeah. I forgot we'd swap that over to show the location thing from that screen. We did that earlier. I keep forgetting we've got this th this hacking tool. <laughs> right, that's handy. Right, um just can I save it there? Because I am going to go do my grocery shopping. Um, let me just see if there's anybody I can raid before I go. I'm going to do my grocery shopping. I'm usually just about an, about an hour and a half. And then I'll come back and I'll do some um, leisure shoot larry for a couple of hours. Uh, let's just see who's on. Hopefully we'll catch you next time, plabs. <laughs> I got one of the kittens in meowing now. Let's try to get my Twitch up here. What do you want then? What do you want then? Okay. See who's on. I don't know. Um... See if there's anybody I usually watch. I don't really have anybody that I usually watch. On Shampoo Bandits playing RimWorld. Whoa! Right over the keyboard. <laughs> there you go in. Let's see what Shampoo Bond is doing. Yeah, that's the microphone. Don't bite it, please. <laughs> that's my juice. I really can't see the screen with you sitting there. Eh. There's my juice. I'll put it over there out of the way. I can't see if I can... Yeah, there we go. How many have we got on here anyway just now? A few. If anybody else has got any suggestions, I was, I've got Shampoo Bandit here that's doing... Um, just get this up here. 
Rimworld. Yeah, we'll just raid Shampoo Bandit. Yeah. We'll get rid of that out there. Why am I not over here? There we go. Can I do that? There we go. <laughs> One viewer. Just you plobs. Two viewers. There. Right, I shall say bye for now. Um, I shall be back on later. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for chatting. Uh, below the stone, plabs, you take care. We shall hopefully catch you later on or next time. So until then, take care, be safe. I shall say bye for now.